Hello, my name is Magnus Petersen. Welcome to my tutorials on TensorFlow. I made this series because the existing tutorials were not very good when I started to learn TensorFlow. I had watched some videos from PyCon that used Python notebooks and YouTube videos to teach various subjects, and I really liked that teaching style, so I decided to make a few TensorFlow tutorials while I was learning it myself. Now, before you get started, I must warn you that you're gonna get frustrated a lot. TensorFlow was originally designed to be a low-level numerical computation library, and the API was not very well designed, so you're gonna get frustrated a lot when you use it. I would suggest that you as a minimum watch the first three tutorials. The first tutorial explains some of the basic ideas of TensorFlow, and that you're using a so-called computational graph, and how you build that graph, and how you run it. The second tutorial builds a more advanced image recognition model, but it is still using the low-level TensorFlow API. Tutorial number 3C is on the Keras API, and this is the API that I would recommend that you use, but I only started using this fairly late in the tutorial series, so you will see a lot of the tutorials are made with another API. The Keras API makes it a lot easier to build and train a neural network in TensorFlow. The API I used in a lot of the tutorials was this one called PrettyTensor, and they also have various other APIs in TensorFlow, like this one called the Layers API. There's also one called Slim, and this is one of the huge problems I've had with TensorFlow. It has been an absolute nightmare that they couldn't decide on what high-level API that they wanted. I could go into a long rant about how messed up that decision was from the managers on the TensorFlow or Google Brain team, and you'll hear me complain about that in several of the videos. But what I suggest you use is Keras. So to learn TensorFlow, I would recommend tutorials number one, two, and three, and try and do as many of the exercises as you can. Some are easy, some are hard. But if you go through these three tutorials and do a lot of the exercises, then you will have a very good idea of what TensorFlow is and how you use it. Some of the tutorials are maybe somewhat obsolete now. For example, this one, number four, on how you save and restore a model in TensorFlow. If you use Keras, that can do it very easily for you. And for example, this one on ensemble learning, this could also be done far easier in Keras than the way I did it here with the low-level TensorFlow API. Now, it has taken me a long time to research and produce these tutorials, so I'm coming to the end of the series. I might still make a few more. What I recommend you do is you browse the tutorials and see if there's a subject you like, and then you watch that. Some of them will build on other tutorials, and then you have to go back and watch those first, but that's how it is. All of the source code is available on GitHub, and you have to clone the entire repository because there are several dependencies that you need. I used to have a donation button, but I don't have that anymore. It was very little money that I made from these donations, and for a number of reasons I decided to remove it. But if you have found these tutorials useful, I would highly appreciate it if you make a donation to some charity in your local community. This could be an orphanage, or it could be a library, or it could be for the homeless. And so, I wish you very good luck on your journey on learning TensorFlow.